Thank you. All right, Wes Horton, after a good bounce back win by the team, uh, how important particularly was it for you to get out there and, and finally get some a lot of snaps in and, and, and try and get involved in this defensive effort today? Well, it was big. I mean, last week, you know, I was mostly in on first and second downs, so it was mostly just trying to stop the run. But, um, you know, a big thing for me is, you know, getting the pass rush, you know, getting to the quarterback. That's you know, most, one of the most important things. So um, the fact that, you know, Mike, Michael felt, you know, better, you know, going in, going into this game, able to get on the edge, you know, doing what I've what I've been doing before I got injured um, was definitely, you know, a big confidence booster one. And then obviously just helping out the team in general, you know, creating more pressure. And even though on, on some plays I wasn't getting there, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it takes all four to get there. So, you know, my pressure created other guys, you know, to get sacks. Seven sacks for this defense. Uh, just talk about that performance, obviously, doing exactly what, what, what you guys were game planning to do. Yeah, just, just relentless. Um, you know, we knew going into this game, you know, there's there was certain positions where, you know, we, we kind of created a mismatch as far as our pass rush ability, you know, and their, their you know, their sets. So, um, you know, that was a big emphasis, you know, going into this week. Um, I even called a, you know, a meeting just for the D-line and just kind of stressed, you know, we need to watch extra tape, you know, um, NFL rushers, you know, setting our guys' sets because it's there on tape, you know, we can beat these guys. And I felt like we, we just definitely went out there, um, you know, and didn't, you know, even though we play well um, getting pressure in the first half, we didn't let up. We kept it going through the second half. You called an extra meeting. Was it a big week for the seniors, the leaders, to take control and, and let these guys know that that was just one loss against Stanford? And, you know, no doubt. Getting started. Yeah, because, you know, we, we have some, some younger guys playing that haven't really been in that situation, so it was huge to – you know, to just get them to turn the page. You know, we, you know the fact that we lost to Stanford. You know, it's it sucks. It hurts. You know, deep down in the core. But you know, we can't we can't dwell on that going into the following week. So, uh, I think TJ did a good job with the back end, and um, you know, I, I kind of right, stressed, man. you know, to the to the D line that you know it's over. It's done with. You know, we're moving on to the next game. We got to get off to the the, um, the quarterback because we didn't do a good enough job last week. So I felt like we definitely got that done. Can you talk about a couple of these young guys? Morgan Breslin just seems like all out effort all the time and Leonard Williams it seems like there's a lot of talent there. Yeah, they're just they're guys that are just, you know, work in progress. They, they, they're they getting better week in and week out and um, they're just guys that uh, they're, they're willing to, to, to listen to what's, what's being taught to them and they take it from the film room onto the field and, you know, it's, it's very encouraging seeing that for, for, for younger guys that have haven't really gotten the reps. Um, they're, they're they're playing like they're they're older, you know, more veteran players, but they're not, which is which is great to see. All right, you looking forward to the bye and getting getting fully healthy, and then the season really gets going. Yeah, it's you know it's we just first for, first and foremost we got to get healthy, and, um, have a great week of practice, and you know get ready to beat Utah. Thank you, West. Congrats on the big night.